Well, one year into the pandemic, a Broward County beautician who had COVID-19 can't believe there are still people who don't believe the pandemic is real. CBS 4's Hank Tester reports on a life saved and her doctor who is now regarded as part of her family. It's the little things that mean a lot to Acacia Paz, like a drink of water, walking around the house, TV with the family. Why? Here she is in the fight of her life, knocked down hard, real hard by COVID-19. I was 26 days at the hospital. After that, I took four months to recovery. The recovery was really hard. Akasha's late spring COVID battle played out at Broward Health North on her medical team, Dr. Amal Hanna. She was very emotional. She was anxious. She would cry when you talk to her. She was kind of scared too. Scared with good reason. Acacia was very sick. It was a medical scramble to keep her alive. She was about 10 days on a ventilator. And she was kind of, uh, we started her on the special medication which was just got approved, IV remdesivir. She was one of the first patients at Broward Health North who received it. And she received it for 10 days. Then came recovery, slow, taxing, lungs damaged, therapy difficult. I remember the first time that they tried to wake me up, you know, and stand up from the bed. I couldn't. I couldn't walk. Patient had problem eating, uh, getting to walk. She was so weak. It took her about 12 days to relearn how to walk again. Can you put your head down, please? Now, Acacia back to work, cutting hair. She's come a long way. It has been a journey, and after effects linger. They closed the store in March. They opened back in May, but I came back on October 14th. It was my first day at work. A battle won against COVID, and from a grateful Acacia Paz, a message. A lot of people, they don't believe in COVID. They say this is not true, this is like fake or whatever. But for me, it was really, really real. Okasha's lungs still aren't 100%, but she continues her therapy by walking, sometimes as long as five miles when she hits the street. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.